Hey, what's going on everybody? Julian Schutze here on behalf of The Collective here today to give you my review of the Plastic Smith Armory Bazoo Bands. Bazoo Bands, Bazoo Bands. Two in one arm protection, covers your elbows and your forearms. I mainly do written reviews. I have a written review up of this currently, link in the description. My video reviews are to give you more of a visual look uh, of the product as I kind of yak on about it, as well as to give you a TLDR and to help generate traffic towards it because videos please the uh, almighty gods of algorithms better. Uh, so this is from Plastic Smith Armory. Um, Trent is a one man operation in uh, Canada and these are custom sized. So uh, I, I have large forearms and I find most other forearm protection is either too small, uh, they don't fit right, or to get them on properly, they have to be super tight. Uh, the, you won't have that issue with these since they are custom sized. There are a few things I would recommend. Uh, Trent usually makes these for SCA uh, and he normally does them to be skin tight underneath looser gambesons. Um, uh, so if you're going to be doing this for HEMA, make sure you specify that it's over top the jacket and give your measurements over top the jacket. Uh, number two is when you measure your forearm length, you'll notice that there's actually quite a bit of space here. Make sure you wear the gloves that you are going to wear and then measure up to where it would be a comfortable distance. Uh, I made the mistake of just measure my arm and then I measured up. Up, at, uh, up until the wrist bone. And then uh, well, what happened, I wore the glove and I had to chop off a good chunk of this. So make sure you specify that as well. Um, something that is worth noting, uh, so I've talked to Trent about this since that review, is I did say maybe specify where you want the secondary strap, because right now it kind of goes over the swell of the forearm, not necessarily in the nook of the elbow which I did find for me kind of lets it, uh, if I'm not wearing gloves, lets it slip up a little bit because it's not necessarily kind of latched in there. Um, now I know some people specifically do not like having that strap in the nook of the elbow. And what Trent suggested is on this rear brace here, rear brace, rear brace, I don't know, uh, which I will talk about in a second, is what, uh, what you can do is you can actually almost uh, Velcro that to the jacket here, and then you could Velcro it, point it, because this always mostly stays, no matter where you, how you move your arm. So that'll avoid having it slip. Now, also to be fair, uh, when I do wear a glove, it doesn't slip at all. So, you know, if uh, during sparring, it's not actually an issue, it just can be kind of annoying if you're kind of throwing all your stuff on and then, this is like kind of move down here. You got to shove it up and all that. Uh, but those are two uh, solutions that work quite well. And Trent said he might even include an optional solution to have that built into the rear brace for future revisions of the product. Um, this thing is great. I know a lot of these kind of two in ones from this point on do exist, but then they never really cup around the elbow all that well. This gives excellent protection because it'll cover a, a good chunk of like the, the connection points in the tricep as well. But then it, it's designed to open up. So when I wear my jacket, it doesn't seem a, as big and loose. But when I'm here, my elbow is still completely covered and I have good protection of my arm when I am extended. But then when I bend my arm, then it, it covers it again. So this allows full range of motion while not sacrificing uh, bulk or anything like that. Full range of motion and protective. Bulk is kind of the last one I'm gonna go on. This is the HDPE uh, plastic. So it's it's pretty it's pretty thick, but it's not, you know, like the specific tier thick where those things are, they feel like you've, you've suddenly got, uh, you know, those giant Hulk hands, but for your forearms, where now like I, I wouldn't have been able to go to cross positions because they're so bulky. Uh, these are not the thinnest solutions I've seen out there. The Forearm Protection by Art by Amber Demare. Demare, I'm so sorry. Uh, those are super thin and still protective, but it's just the forearm, doesn't include elbows. I prefer this kind of two-in-one solution. Uh, 
So this is definitely thicker than those. So if you wanted the lowest profile you can get, check those out. But for something like this, uh, I find that the overall dimensions of it meant that it was not bulky. I didn't get in my way at all. And they're they're very light. This is not uh, this is not a heavy product at all. So I find them it's it's uh it's really a case of having my cake and eating it too, because they're mobile, and they're protective, and they're not bulky. So that's that's pretty good. So uh, yeah, this was my super quick TLDR. I uh, I definitely super recommend these. If you want a much uh, deeper analysis of them, check out my written review of them. And yeah, we'll catch you next time.